So this. Now, this is entirely up to you and what the, the tools that you have access to and how much level you can get inside. If you didn't like this, you could stop down on the camera or put ND in and then up whatever is doing your room tone, right? So if you've got an 18K over here and it's bashing in this way, you could get a second one, right? Which sounds easy, um, at the, but you're probably not at that budget level. You could get something up in here just to up the ambient. You just need more level to counteract this, right? That's the, that's the thing normally with shears that you're trying to avoid. See, still playing really, really hot out there. Don't you look at the camera. Huh? Actors, they never get it. Now you're talking. <laughs> so because he's sitting where he's sitting, imagine if he, instead of sitting here, he's sitting over in this chair. Changes everything, right? But his relationship to the light and knowing that we want to be on the dark side of the line means that he has to sit either here or here or here, right? The easiest spot, because if he sits here, she's going to have to walk around. Then he's going to walk out of the scene that way. It just doesn't really make a lot of sense. But sitting him here, we know that the light is going to be perfect on both her and him, and we're not going to have to change much in between. So let's go oop, to her. Now you're talking. 